We're going to find the difference quotient of this function right here. The function is f of x is 9x plus 4. And the difference quotient is given over here. It's saying that we need to find the f of x plus h, subtract the f of x, which we are already given. That's this right here. And then we're going to put it over h. And then we're going to do some work to simplify. So let me write down the difference quotient right here, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And I'm going to go ahead right now, and I'm going to plug in the things that we know. So we do know the f of x. And it's very important that if I am subtracting the f of x, I need to put it in parentheses. Because if it's more than one term, I'm subtracting all terms in there. So when I subtract the f of x, I'm really subtracting 9x plus 4. Okay, see how that's going to subtract that and that? I can put it over h. And the thing that I need to find is the f of x plus h. So let's go over to the side. Let's find the f of x plus h. And then we'll plug it in. And then we can simplify. So I know what the f of x is. It's 9x plus 4. The f of x plus h is going to be 9 times x plus h plus 4. OK, so whatever you had for your x gets plugged in right here for your x. All right, so let's finish it. 9 times x plus h, that's going to be 9x. And then 9 times h is 9h and drop down the plus 4. OK, now I can't simplify this any more than it is. And so this is what the f of x plus h is. It is 9x plus 9h plus 4. And that is going to go right here. So let's plug it in. 9x plus 9h plus 4. OK, and now we're just going to simplify this part right here. So let me get rid of all these parentheses. 9x plus 9h plus 4 can come out of the parentheses. There is nothing in front. Multiplying in, going to change anything. So it just comes out. And then this is going to become, I need to subtract 9x. So that's minus 9x. And I'm also, very important, subtracting 4. And that's, if anybody makes a mistake, they're going to make a mistake right there. Right there. All right, put the whole thing over h. Now let's simplify our numerator. I see that I have 9x minus 9x. That's 0. I see that I have 4 minus 4. That is also 0. So now I have 9h over h. And the two h's are going to reduce. So this h cancels with this h. And that leaves me with 9. So the difference quotient here is 9. That's it. OK, so just a quick recap. They give us this. They give us the f of x. And h just stays there. The only thing we need to do is we need to find the f of x plus h. You plug in x plus h anywhere where you saw an x. It gets us here, and then that part goes there. 